Hello, this is Lino Tadros, and in this video I'll show you how to enable the change owner inside of the user interface of Sitefinity itself. This is something that we used to do programmatically if we want, if you want to change the owner of a press release or a blog post or an event and so on. But sometimes um, an administrator would like to do this visually, so I'll show you how to add that feature in Sitefinity as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring up here the site. Notice I have three press releases right there. If I would like to change the owner, because by automatically the person that will create that press release or the news item will be the owner. And sometimes that's not what you want. You want to create it, but you want somebody else to be the owner of a specific item in the database. If I go to actions in here on the right side and I click on action, notice there is nothing in here that will allow me to change the owner. That's by default. This is the way blogs or news or events or lists or anything will work. You will not be able to change that visually inside of the user interface of the back end of Sitefinity. So the best bet is to uh, go into administration, click on settings, and this feature has been added in 14.3. You had to add this in a config.json file before um, in the admin app, but now it's much, much easier. I can click on the back end interface here at the bottom, and there is a lot of different sections. And the one I'm interested in is the one that says commands uh, near the end in here. If I open this up, change owner for content type. You just need to tell the system which entities you're interested in allowing that features to be enabled. It has to be in an array. So I'll open up an array. This is a JSON syntax. Inside of this array, I can put the name of every single entity. For instance, news items will say news items like this if i have more put a comma and then open double quotes again and say blog post or events or lists or whatever but i'm going to leave it just for news item but it has to be an array even if you have only one item but if you have more just put a comma in between them and it will work i'm going to say save the changes at this point and then let's go backwards go to content again if you go back and hit an action you probably will not see the change because this is being cached so i have to push a shift f5 on my keyboard and here to force it to, uh, to reload. And now if I go to one of them and say an action, notice there is a new change owner available in here. So I am the only user on this website, but if you click on owner, you get a list of all the users. And if there are more than just myself, I can click on that person and say you selected. And that from now on the good for that specific user will be the owner of the specific item. And this is how easy really it is. Just a couple of words you'll have to add in a JSON file. Um, and you don't even have to create the JSON file. It will be done for you automatically behind the scenes. So hopefully this was useful to you to show you how to make change owners, not programmatically, but in the user interface by adding a couple of words. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I'll see you soon in another video from Lino TV. Thank you.